And sorry, here's part two to finish out our video. So Aubrey's just blending in the colors here. And then what do you think comes next? Eyeliner, yes. Okay, why don't you try? No, you do it on your eyes. You don't want to do it? You're going to do the wing? Okay. So I'm going to hand me the mirror because it's really hard for me to do this in a camera. She wants me to put it on, but she's going to do a wing tip on me. So this is our eyeliner waterproof eyeliner pen. This is kind of my go-to all the time. And as you can see, I usually end up kind of smudging it just a little bit. Because you don't have to be perfect putting eyeliner on, which is nice. Yeah. Be about time to replace mine. Okay, can you hand me um, my smudger brush? Just the pointy one. You know, the one you were using for shadow. Yeah. So I just kind of blend it just a titch. So if you don't have perfect line, you can use small dashes or you can um, just kind of blend it in. You want the bottoms too? All the way over. Mm -hmm. Take my fluffing on. Okay. All right. Do your wings. You might have to go um, press that into a cotton round quick just to straighten up. Don't like it. Here, I need some remover on this. Okay, you can just kind of start here and just go over. So it starts on the end of mine and just kind of draw it out like how. Yeah, my eye, like if my eyelashes were continuing off my eye, okay? My thing is getting a little dry. So 
We're just going to leave it with that for now. Okay. What you going to put on next? Mascara. Okay. Put the mascara. Just try. This is that new Fanorama one, okay? So, I'll look up just gently. Okay. You have to tip your hand around to. We'll get that in a minute. Start at the base of the lashes. I guess so. You can kind of sand it up and paint it across to you if you want. It's got those little extra brushes on the end to get all those little hairs. See what I mean? I just need to look away. Good? Mm -hmm. Oh, let you go on first. That's okay. Okay, grab the um, under eye corrector. It's the tube that looks kind of peachy color. In the see-through part right there, it's the black tube. Black tube. Laying down. Hey, look at me. From the, yes. Look at the one that says peachy, that has the peach color, and it'll say under eye corrector. There you go. You can just pull that out. You just kind of dot underneath and then you can rub it in so it'll get rid of some of that darkness, okay? Mm -hmm. if you can just use your finger or sometimes I use a brush. Grab the brush over there that's kind of orangey color in the... Um, that'll be fine. Get as close to under my eye and in that corner as you can. Nope. Just go one way. If you go the other way, back and forth, it'll make Mama's eye look cakey. So you only go out towards the outside, okay? And then all the way to the corner. See how that brightened up Mama's eye? It's blended in good. No, nope, don't go the other way. Just one, one direction. That you can take the um, concealer. Yep. And actually, there's just a couple touch up spots we're going to touch up because we already put the foundation on. See a couple touch up spots? There's just a couple. And yeah, just a couple right there. Okay, then you can kind of blend those in. Usually, Mama does that first before I put on the foundation. Um, just use the foundation brush, blending brush that you use to put it on. Yep, and then you can just little circle rub those in. Typically, I do that after I put my primer on, so that way then you don't need as much um, foundation because you've already concealed some of those imperfection areas. But that's okay. So we can still do that and then usually just cover it with um, powder at the end. Okay. Now, cheeks. Cheek brush. The big fat one. Yep.
Well, that's a lighter color, so it's okay. Not my luck. Stay on your cheekbones. Okay. Um, put it on the other side then, so it's even, and then you can add another one on top. Okay. You start at those apples of the cheeks. What else do you want to do? Oh, you're going to do a little bronzer? Okay, you can do bronzer. You can dust it, kind of help hide it. You can kind of dust it over my eyebrows in that center. And brown your nose. And you can kind of do a three. Watch me. Here. And then out underneath. You can go this way, yeah. And then underneath, under your cheekbones, yeah. Yes. Okay. You can do the clear. We'll finish it off with powder and then you can do the lips quick. Okay. Okay. You could just probably do what's in the um, lid, is really all you need. Lips. All over. It's kind of the translucent powder, so it'll set Mama's face. So everything will just kind of stay put. Look good. Okay. And you can do lips. Are you gonna use lip liner or just lipstick? You can do it. You can just do lipstick if you want. They're in there, but if you don't want to do it, that's fine. You can just do lipstick. Just do lipstick then, baby. Pick whatever shade you're going to do. Aubrey's favorite shade of lipstick when I let her wear it at home is... The boldest, brightest color of red possible. So we'll see what shade she picks for me. But she is loving the new lip balm. I'm having to kind of fight her for that, which is fantastic because it's like, just like a lip balm, but then it um, tints to a shade of pink according to your pH. So we both tried it and we um, have two different shades of pink, so it's kind of cool. Ready? What shade is that? What's it say on the bottom? Scarlet red. Ooh, scarlet red. So you did pick a red. Here, scooch it up just a little bit more. There you go.
Cât? You can just use a Q-tip. Fix in the lines. So good, you're so precise. What about my Cupid's bow? Do you know what a Cupid's bow is? That little divot in your top lip? Was it straight across or did you? Okay. Then do a little bit right there and you'll get my Cupid's bow. See what I mean? Because the outline of my lip doesn't go straight across. Did you know that? Okay. Yep. Check it out, sister. Huh? You're not done? Oh, okay. Put some gloss on. Magnificent. Oh. And we're finishing it off with the Fearless Perfume. Sweet. Ooh, thank you. Awesome job. And you even get to smell good at the end. How awesome is that? All right, come here, kiddo. I don't know about you, but I think she did a pretty amazing job. Thank you. No kisses. We're in the season of no kisses. Thanks, y'all. Love you.